Well, it's good to be with you again. Thanks for joining me this morning as we want to have a, a word together to encourage you. Well, how is your safer at home time going? I trust you've had a good first day. I'm sure for a little while this is going to be a blessing because it's great to be able to be together and to not to have to do some of the things that can pull us away from important things. But as time goes on, this is going to be a challenge. And so I've tried to think of topics that will help us be prepared for the inevitable difficulties that could come. And one of the problems is going to be interpersonal relationships. Uh, we're not used to being right on one another for a long period of time. And Satan loves to use things like this to discourage and to bring down. He can use technology, as we've warned you about. Do not make that the major thing of this time. I plead with you, Satan could easily cause Christians to backslide and get into bad habits. But another thing he's going to use is the matter of relationships, because we do battle self. We are uh, in habits of the way that we react, and so when we're put together for extended period of times, those things seem to come out. And oftentimes, Satan will, uh, if we're not walking in the Spirit, will push us to do some things that we wouldn't normally do. I remind you in Ephesians chapter 6, that great conclusion to the book on the church and how we should function, you have that great conclusion about spiritual warfare. And we read in verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And then he says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You know, so often when negative encounters come and frustrations are there, uh, we can get very personal. We should not do that. We should live for one another, and if there are problems, just as a gentle hand of, of someone that loves someone else, just take those things and, and put them aside and just continue to meet the needs of someone. But because of our undealt with insecurities and some of the hurts maybe that are still in our life, we can react. And we need to realize that so often Satan is behind it. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the different levels of demonic power. And Satan is not wanting the church to move forward. This is a great opportunity for Christians all over our land to wake up and be what they ought to be, as we've been mentioning. But instead, many are going to go backward. And one of it's going to be a deterioration of relationships because they haven't seen Satan behind the battle that's going on. And so we need to be aware of that. You know, no one loved the Lord Jesus like Peter, and yet the Lord had to say to him, Get thee behind me, Satan. And when you sense frustration coming, it's not that the person who's reacting to you is allowing themselves to be controlled by Satan. They just are influenced. The atmosphere can easily be charged with that. And so look beyond what may be the interpersonal relationship conflict and realize there's a, there's a spiritual battle going on. My life, their life, let's right now stop reacting and let's let God work. Now, the way to overcome this is to start your day with an extended time in God's Word. You're going to hear me say this over and over and over. Your soul needs to come into full communion with the Lord. You need to revel in who He is, get a real rest in your soul about your relationship to him, get excited about what God has for you in that day. And then when something comes up, you can see your own improper reactions and you can look beyond the situation and realize, you know, this is a spiritual battle and pray immediately that Satan's influence be gone. In fact, you can pray earlier in the day uh, for Satan to be resisted. And the Bible says that he would flee if we are submitted to the Lord. And so you can claim your family, claim yourself, and if the pressures do come, you'll be able to see them immediately and then pray. You know, one of the best things you can do as a family is if pressures come, stop, ask God for wisdom, ask God for love for one another, for clarity on how to resolve the problem, and then pray against the evil one. We can be fully secure in the Lord. It's a wonderful thing. We read in verse 18, 
praying always, this is after the whole armor passage is given, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. I'm telling you, it's powerful when we pray through the power of the Spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. We need to be praying and uplifting one another with perseverance, keeping on, not letting ourselves feel sorry for ourselves, not letting one conflict go by unsettled but letting the grace of God and the refreshing presence of the Spirit of God uh, bring us into a unity again. So it's a spiritual battle, but you don't have to lose that battle. You've got God with you. He's with you in each of your hearts. He will be with you as you gather together. And let's not let Satan win any victory in our marriages, in our parent, uh, child relationships, other relationships within our homes. Let's let this be a time of bonding together and having a sweet development of relationship for the glory of God.